Hello and welcome to another video. Um, it's been a little bit of a gap between this one and the last one. I feel like I'm getting a bit of a, a crisis of confidence with with my videos because things are getting a bit repetitive. But uh, unfortunately, I've got one vehicle that I can video about, and uh, the jobs are sort of ongoing. I'm only doing them bit by bit. So uh, today we're going to be looking at the. Whoops, got a lot of sun in my eyes there. Uh, we're going to be looking at the dash panel yet again because, uh, well, unfortunately that seems to be taking up rather too much uh, time uh, at the moment. Uh, so i just get the remote control so I can open up the garage. So that's open. And uh, oh, someone's coming through our gate for a minute. So... I think what I need to do really is to, because we've got the, the dash panel is down there, and uh, I'm going to have to probably think about measuring the, um, well, putting the panel back on first of all, and measuring the various fixing points, uh, because there's some repairs that need to be done, as you've seen in the last video. Um, and eventually the, the panel will be repainted in a nice colour all to be revealed later on so that's going to be the next job so i'm going to set the camera up get the panel put back on again temporarily so that i can measure the various bits oh and before i do that i wanted to to show you the result of the repair in the cab on the floor so to do that i need to unlock everything and as you can see it's a bit chilly today lovely and sunny but uh it's very very cold and as usual I have to reach in I told you about my videos getting repetitive to unlock the door that side so we'll go around the other side so you can see I've not got a lot of space to play with here so here's the result so it's looking a bit rough, but uh, what I've done is actually, if you remember I made the plastic slurry um, a few weeks ago, well, that's the actual slurry, and then what I did, I, I surrounded it with um, super glue, and then sanded it all down. So you can see it's, it's about as smooth as you're going to get, really, because, well, plastic slurry isn't the most easiest thing to sand but it's all dry the only problem is i'm getting a leak coming down here and i've still not figured out where it's coming from and that ends up uh, obviously washing the the dust away but i think we can call that job done so regarding the cab floor i think that what i'm going to do is um i'm gonna i don't know if it'll work or not because it's in plastic um probably use some enamel paint, um, you know, modelling type paint, uh, because I just want to find something sort of grey, but I don't want to sort of get a lot of paint, because I'm only just doing that little bit. And then probably use some, um, I've got some clear spray-on varnish that uh, was supplied fully enough by Exam, meaning it's an Exam product, not that it's supplied by Exam. And... Uh, I think I'll use that to spray over the top to seal it all in. So that's a future job, uh, just a little job. But for the moment, we need to concentrate on the, the front dash panel. So to start off with, we'll get the bonnet open. And I've got to find the, the screws. Um, I've put them in the... There's a little cubby hole in the dashboard in the van, so I'll put them in there somewhere. So the next job is going to be finding those. And those are the ones because there's two thicknesses. That's too, that's too thick. Well, I guess that one will do. It's a bit smaller.
So I'll just go and get the, the panel, which is next to the camera here. Just bear with me. We'll try to, without tangling my microphone, try to fix it on. So it's a lot easier now to cut the bottom off to fit it, because before you've got the sort of curved underneath, and you just get, get stuck on the, uh, the chassis underneath there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these screws into here to hold it on, we hope. Uh, so they just help, held on there. And perfect, it seems to be in the right place. Very good. So what I need to do now is to, to measure this bottom bit because the idea is, is that perhaps I should have showed you when I had the, the thing off, but it's going to put some sort of plate at the bottom here. Uh, I'll just move the camera so you can see that. Bring you in. So, um, we've seen loads of times before, I've got these brackets um, that are fixed onto the, this protection bar. So what I need to do is I need to measure roughly at the top of these vents. There's actually just holes underneath here to let air in. And what I want to do is to, to put a plate about from there onwards down, down to... Sorry, I'll do that again because I wasn't pointing the camera in the right place. It's very difficult when you've got obstacles in the way. Um, yeah, so from about there, down, to there. So it will be fixing onto this. Now, having looked at it, I'm going to have to move that sort of diagonally so that this will fix onto any future plate that's fixed onto here. So I need to measure the distance between there and down there. So as if by magic, I've got my tape measure. So I probably should have marked where I'm going to measure from and to. Um, well, I'll try to guesstimate it. It's not going to be very easy to to do this, I suppose. But anyway, so let's bring the camera around this side. In fact, I need two hands for this. I'd say that we're looking at about down to there, across there like that. Looking at about 15 centimetres, I think. So it's 15 is there, come across here like that. Yeah. So we're looking at 15 centimetres down. And then for the actual plate itself, the width of it, it's going to have to go on this front panel. Behave. No, I think I need to put it behind the protection bar. That would be a lot easier. So we're looking at 15 by, I'd say, 60. So if, that's easy to remember. 15 by 60. So I can stick that away, I'll stick that on there. So it reminded me to take it in the house. So I take the front panel off. It's a hell of a lot easier now I've cut the bottom off. And now you've got the repair. Oh, that's not very good. I'll drop that somewhere. You see the repair here. I'll bring it in a bit closer. Maybe you can see that. But uh, yeah. It seems to have held, and again, I've put super glue around it as well. It seems to have cracked a bit there, I think. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Better pick that other screw up before I lose it. And the little clear plastic washer. 
and I'll put those back in the in the cab. So let's take that in in here so we can have a better look at the, the repair. So I'll bring you over here. Of course I'll take it somewhere where I've not got a lot of light. So super glue has also played a part at the front there because I've I've repaired this crack with it which we need sanding at some point. But seeing as I've got to sand the whole thing more or less, very lightly, um, that will wait until then. So if I turn it over, we'll be able to see the, the repair I made here with the plastic slurry. Um, there's bits there, look, coming off. But it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to move at all. It's solid. So I call that a of success both in the cab and on the, the front panel. So the next job is going to be repairing this problem here. I do apologise, I'm I seem to be sloping a little bit. Is that better? Ah oh, a lot of fiddling about trying to to get the tripod to be in the right place because uh, I'm not really used to filming sitting down. Uh, so um I had a slight problem because uh, I couldn't find, um, first of all, the the bolts to fix the sides of this onto the van. Uh, they were somewhere in the back of the van, so and not only somewhere in the back of the van, but hidden in a in a padded envelope. So I'm quite surprised I managed to find them. That was a bit of a panic then because they're. They're sort of specific for the bumper. Uh, you you have to buy them from uh, a Sompermi vehicle supplier. You can't go and get them from a DIY store. So you've got the square bit that goes into the into the hole there. Um, I'll show you that in a bit. But before I do that, I'm going to just give the area a bit of a clean. I'll clean the whole thing eventually, but I just can't be bothered to clean the whole thing just to to repair a little bit of it. So out come the, the lingettes, wet wipes to you in English speaking countries. This black stuff here on the on the outside, I should lift it up really so you can see what I'm doing. Um, this black bit here is the glue that uh, makes some fit to the lawn. It's not oil. There we go, that's a little bit more presentable. So, show that down there. Where have I put the screw? Ah. There it is. So, if you look at it, it's got a square. I'll turn it around the other way. It's got a square thing. That's useful, dropping it over there near the camera. <sighs> right. So that fits into here, like that, but um, I'll bring it a bit closer so you can see that the it's damaged here. So what I'm thinking of doing is that I've got, um, I've used this before, it's an epoxy putty. So I'm not going to use slurry because the worry is, is that it's getting it in the right place. Um, slurry, as you've seen when I applied it, isn't very sticky. It works because the acetone inside the slurry, when you make it, uh, evaporates. And when that evaporates, it sort of welds the plastic to the plastic you're adhering it to. It's the same sort of material. Um, and basically, it, it sort of burns the plastic in a way. Um, but that wouldn't be very good here because there's, there's nothing really to glue it onto or fix it onto and like I say it's not very sticky so it won't stay in place it's not going to be easy to do something really precise so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that in in there like that and then what I'll do is I'll try to make up the, the bit that's missing in plastic putty 
but uh, not leave this in because otherwise it'll glue to the plastic you put in that won't be very ideal so I think that's that's the, the way forward for that I'm going to give my hands a clean because I'll need to mix the plastic putty up with my fingers support mega red van here so I've, I've shown you this in another video uh, probably last year I think um, it's NB MBHK uh, epoxy putty. Let me see that. And rather than show you me struggling getting into the tube, I've already done that because that was a pain to get out. But uh, and you get bits of plas clear plastic on the outside of it, and it's a real pain to get rid of it. So that, that comes in like a tube, and you've got a, a white bit in the middle grey around the outside and basically you just need to mix them together. So that's why I've set the camera going because I know that once I've got this mixed together my hands will be covered in this stuff. Um, so I will probably do some editing here because uh, watching me uh, and there's a bit of aluminium foil stuck in inside from the outside from oh yeah I'll probably do a bit of editing here so you I'll spare you the tediousness of me mixing the putty together. So I've used my little pinky to switch the, the camera on because if you can see when you mix it together it just sticks to everything. So that's mixed together, it goes sort of light grey. Now the idea is, is that we, if I can just lift this up without knocking my tripod over and move my chair a bit nearer I think so that I can show you a bit closer. There we go. So you see, you got the the hole there. Now the idea is I'm going to put uh, that into its place here. Okay, um, it's a bit far away, isn't it? There we go. And then I'll get the putty. I'll take a tiny bit. So I've got to make it as flat as possible, really, because. Uh, Otherwise, when I come to put it onto the bodywork, even though there's a recess to, to fit this in, it might end up with um, being a bit too thick. God, this is about... This, it sticks to my fingers, like, it, like the plastic slurry, slurry did, but it's not really sticking very well to the plastic. What have I done wrong? I have to put a thicker bit on. The idea is that I'll go round here. It's not really sticking more to my fingers than to the plastic. Oh. Me and my bright ideas. So I think what I'm going to do is if I put that what I'm saying most of the time. If I put the putty there, I think that'll be enough for it to, to stay in place. There we are, starting to, to stay put now. Now the worry is, is that it's going to be too thick to go into the right place on the front of the run. So I'm trying to work it round and make it as flat as I can. That's breaking that and now it's falling off. I think it's a case of trying to smooth it down so it sticks properly. Go and get yourself a cup of tea. So the idea is, is that, no, and that's gone right through into somewhere I didn't want it to go. It's stuck to the 
The worry is, is that when it dries, it's going to collapse and not stick. Because at the moment it's just cracking in the place where I want to put it. So if I want to take some from here so I can fill in this crack. No, it's not going to do it, is it? So the idea is, is that's got to be square. I've put that in carefully. To, to sand really it's really too hard to to break as well so I'm just gingerly putting the the screw into oh, it's going to collapse there oh, into place so that at least when I put this in it will hold I don't want to stick it to the screw, that's the problem. Don't put that in there. Yeah. Oh. So I think I'll leave it like that. So apologies for the, the sound problems. Um, I'm using my cordless mic, which is a very cheap one, well, cheap one in the grand scheme of things. It costs something like 27 euros, but um, it's a bit temperamental. Um, it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, because I was moving about quite a lot, uh, videoing uh, the various shenanigans this morning. Um, it meant that uh, I think the, um, the transmitter which I attached to my pocket uh, was moved around a bit too much and uh, it disturbed the connection. So now we're on, on to the old fashioned cord into the phone mic and hopefully that'll be okay. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I've just come out here, it's five hours on, so we're at uh, nearly four o'clock in the afternoon and I thought I'd give the, the putty a bit of a check. It seems to have set, so I think now I can I can show you how this will fit and if it will fit correctly. So that's looking not too bad. Um, it's not moving, it's completely set. So I think I'll leave it to set a bit more and when it has set into a bit more then I'll, um, I'll put some super glue on there. But uh, this side seems to be, so I can just Let's put it up to the light so you can see, but you can see that it's not it's not going to be flat um, on that side. And I'm going to try to balance that on something, the front of the van. So if we can... How difficult is it to, to fit a square shaped thing into that? And looking a bit Looking a bit tight. Probably the the put is collapsed. Yeah, it's not going to fit exactly. I'll try it from the other the other side. Is this actually square? I think what I have to do is I'm going to have to sand the opposite side. Yeah, it's going to be a bit 
you know, it's, it's falling, I think, whilst, whilst setting. Well, while it's not completely set, I'll see if I can sand it. So that's better. Um, fits now. I don't think I'll worry too much about the about this uh, here, but uh, I'm going to have to repair various little bits with super glue. So I'm going to repair that crack there. This nice big one here will have to be sorted. And there's a bit of a crack between the putty and the plastic. And then what I'll do is I'll on this side, of course, lights against me because. Uh, on this side I'll put some super glue. It'll help not to try to switch my phone off. Um, I'll put some super glue around the edge here and fill this hole in. And then I think that'll be job done. So JD. Just try to put that back in. I think that'll be ideal. Um, so we'll leave it there. Um, the next stage will be still with the front dash panel but I'm going to put some rubber on the sides to to be able to fix it onto the side of the, the van um, using washers uh, so it doesn't damage the plastic because at the moment the small holes that I had that I made myself in, in another earlier video um, they started to crack so I need to repair those as well but also to, to add the, the rubber on the outside um, to avoid that happening again. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Quand je reviens dans mon Ericsonne En maillot à mon lit Au fond de moi mon cœur résonne Car c'est mon pays